In this episode of my Gato UI tutorial series, we're creating a basic splash screen manager that will detect multiple splash screens and automatically fade through each one before loading our target scene. These tutorials are part of a long series of user interface tutorials for Gato, and as always, you can grab the source files for this and all of my Gato tutorials on my Patreon. First, I've renamed our control nodes in our splash screen manager scene. Our center container node will act as a splash screen container and will hold our multiple splash screens texture rect nodes. In our script, add a new export variable so we can reference our splash screen container node and an array variable to hold our splash screens. Add a new function get screens that will get the children of the container and therefore the texture rect nodes we added. Then loop through each screen and set their modulate alpha to zero so they're transparent. The get screens function gets added to the ready function before the fade function. In the fade function, run a loop through the splash screens array, and for each screen, we create the same tween from the last episode. Once the tween is finished, it loops to the next screen. When all screens are finished, we change to our new scene. Finally, we need a way for the player to skip the splash screens because everyone dislikes not being able to skip them. Add this function unhandled input to capture any input event. We check if an event is pressed, and if true, we load our new scene. You should now be able to add any number of texture rect nodes as splash screens and have them fade automatically. 